In the 14th season of the popular TV series, Gold Rush, an unexpected event left the audience both stunned and concerned. Kevin Beats, known for his exceptional skills and as the son of legendary miner Tony Beats, surprisingly had to leave the show. His departure was significant because Kevin was an incredible mechanic and operator, essential to the Beats team. He was admired for his ability to repair and manage large machinery even during tough times. This season caught everyone's attention when Kevin, a highly skilled mechanic and operator within the Beats team, made a surprising exit from the show. He was known for his incredible ability to fix and operate machinery even when things got tough. In one key episode, Kevin really showcased his mechanical skills by using a sledgehammer while working on the machinery. However, things went south when the team tried to replace a water pump, and it ended up catching fire. This incident caused a lot of anger and led to a big argument within the family. This wasn't just a small disagreement, it was the trigger for Kevin's unexpected decision to leave the beautiful, gold-filled landscapes of Alaska behind. There are many rumors about the big argument that made Kevin decide to leave, suggesting there were serious problems behind the scenes, not just a simple fight. Kevin's decision to go wasn't made quickly, it came after years of building tension, leading him to make a significant change in his life. Even after his dad Tony offered him the chance to lead his own mining project, Kevin said no to Tony's offer, showing he was really over the whole gold mining scene and the TV show. His refusal to return is very telling, indicating he's looking for something different in life, far from digging for gold and being in the spotlight. But there's an even more interesting story behind Kevin's unhappiness. Despite working in the family business since he was a teenager, Kevin felt like his hard work was never seen, especially when Tony openly praised another miner, Parker Schnabel. Tony's public praise of Parker, without acknowledging Kevin's efforts, really hit Kevin hard. It made him question his value and whether his contributions were recognized at all. Kevin's decision to leave Gold Rush turned into its own intricate story, filled with his desire to be valued and his fight not to be left in the shadows. This tale acts as a strong reminder that in a world where searching for gold is full of risks, sometimes the most challenging treasure to find is the simple act of being recognized and appreciated. Kevin's emotional challenges prompted him to step back from the spotlight of Gold Rush as he witnessed his father showering Parker with praise. The growing tension between Kevin and his father Tony became a central theme on the show, showcasing the deep emotional divide between them. Although Tony might not have fully understood the depth of his son's distress, the viewers saw how the relationship became even more strained. The challenge of seeking acknowledgement and the subsequent lack of it from his father deeply affected Kevin emotionally, leading him to pause his mining activities and the expectations that came with being part of a mining family. This pause not only provided Kevin with some distance from the demanding life of mining but also allowed him time to spend with his girlfriend, Faith Tang, and engage in hobbies like gardening and making home improvements. This period was a chance for him to think about his life and consider different career possibilities. This situation highlighted the significance of communication and recognition within family dynamics and the emotional consequences of feeling disregarded during the exciting times of the gold rush. The team encountered many difficult situations like trying to find their way through a maze of problems to keep their search for gold going while everything was changing quickly. The Beats family had to get used to a big change, Kevin was no longer part of their team. Tony Beats, the head of the family, was determined to find someone good enough to take Kevin's place, marking a big change in their team dynamics. Kevin played a very important role in their work and without him, they felt like they were in unknown territory. His mother, a very strong figure in the family, faced the hard truth of his absence, understanding that change was necessary and sometimes you can't go back to how things were. Now facing a crucial moment, the Beats family had to adjust how they work together and deal with the impact of Kevin leaving. This time of change forced them to rethink who does what, moving forward without someone who was very important to their efforts. People started to wonder if Monica Beats, Kevin's younger sister, could be the one to take his place. Monica, who grew up in the world of gold mining, learned the business starting from a very young age. 
By the time she was 12, she was already getting to know all the equipment they use, and by 18, she was working hard right beside her father. In an unexpected move, Monica took charge of the operation, showing her skills in a surprising way. With Kevin choosing to explore his love for gardening and fixing up his home, Monica's ability to step up and handle the problems left behind by Kevin indicated she was ready to take on roles that nobody expected her to fill in the Beats family's mining story. This part of the Beats family story is not just about changing who is in charge, it's a story about how the family sticks together and passes down their knowledge through the generations in the tough world of gold mining. The Beats family's dedication to keeping their tradition alive is as clear as the gold they are after. Kevin, known as the star of the mining world, started young, learning from his father. His talent with machines and his strong commitment to the family's work quickly made him an essential member of the team. His path from a beginner to a well-known figure in the mining industry is a tale of hard work and skill, earning him respect and a good fortune under the leadership of Tony and Kevin. The Beats team enjoyed success and fame, however, beneath their successful exterior were personal challenges. Kevin leaving was about seeking acknowledgement and personal growth, revealing the emotional challenges that can arise even in close relationships. It showed how important it is to feel appreciated and have open communication within a family. Tony's approach of giving limited praise, meant to keep egos in check, ended up causing feelings of unhappiness and distance. This situation is a reminder of how important it is to maintain a careful balance in relationships, especially in a business run by a family. In season 14 of Gold Rush, these hidden issues came to light with Kevin's feelings of being overlooked made obvious by the praise given to others. The lack of recognition from his father led Kevin to step back, starting a personal journey of reflection and discovery away from the constant search for gold. Monica's rise to prominence, compared to Kevin's choice to look inward and step back, is a key turning point in the story of the Beats family. This part of their tale emphasizes ongoing themes like the importance of family history, the ability to overcome difficulties, and the constant effort to achieve both recognition and inner calm in the challenging world of gold mining. This story of ambition, the strength of family ties, and the desire for approval plays out against the backdrop of the harsh and glittering world of the mines that define their lives, setting the stage for another compelling installment in the long-lasting legacy of the Beats family. After the noise of machines, Kevin and the Beats family find themselves changing and growing beyond the dust. This chapter in Kevin's life didn't just signify a major change for him, it also highlighted the underlying tensions and difficulties of life in the gold mining world. Kevin, who had once been a key player in the Beats mining operation, chose a different direction, leaving his father and the team to face the season's challenges without him. The impact of his decision echoed throughout the mining community, preparing everyone for a season filled with personal conflicts alongside the hunt for gold. Kevin was exceptional with machinery, earning respect and recognition as a leader in his field, but he was more than just his job title, a diver, musician, cook, and handyman, Kevin was a man of many talents in the tough mining industry. By the age of 33, Kevin had risen to be the ambitious younger brother, leading a devoted team of miners with visions that went far beyond just finding gold. His tools for success included a computer science degree and a natural talent for leading. Kevin aimed to transform mining with innovative techniques to boost his team's performance. His combination of technical knowledge and practical skills put him on a path to change how his family searched for gold. 